Welcome back, my Nakamas. I'm Zingy from Digi Slots, and today we talk about this guy. Use this kit. I won my first locus with this, and this deck is pretty good, and it's tier one. Since you all watch my tier list, and I'm pretty hyped about, I want to give you a lot of competitive deck profiles to have you up cover to the coming regionals we having in One Piece. So this deck is pretty good. I talk about a lot of matchups and what you do and what the cards do in this deck profile. I hope you leave a like and subscribe because we're giving away ten pre-release don cards to you guys to one lucky winner. If you reach two hundred. 2250 um, subscriber mark. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have fun at the deck profile and watch it till the end. We are now at the deck profile and I got first place at locals. I want to special thanks for all people who were there and I played with and special thanks to my senpai um, Safe um, who taught me how to play <laughs> Kit in the mirror match and helped me to win versus him and he didn't have so much counters. That's the reason why I won. And just to let you know for the matchups for this deck, um, your worst matchup of this deck is Kaido and I didn't have the Kaido to play. I had the Kaido but he's having not all the support cards in his deck. So it was uh, easily to beat to beat him, but you need to be scared of a ten drop Kaido that destroys your board because you're going with the deck a little bit more widely and um, having more characters on your board, and then he slams down it and punishes you. But you need to be playing a lot of cards to deal with the king and the queens, and then you need to be uh, like often play with the deck then you know how to play around these cards but you're having hard time with the purple um do flamingo is okay i played with this once if he high rolled then he high rolls but i have a lot of things to suspend and deal over it like sorrow i didn't play with this one but my friend saved it and i think sorrow is in the early game a lot of aggressive i play test with some after the day as well and if you have your eight drop kit and a, a certain of 2k counters and good surges in your deck then you can beat him because the kit is pretty broken and can deal a lot of damage and pressure as well and for the other matchups it's pretty simple that you win them but let's go to the deck profile we play for bonnie and for beach for our one drops beach our block on our deck it's pretty simple to play him uh, bonnie is better than momonosuke because momonosuke only search vano cards and you play the Nico as well so you don't have a lot of space in the deck and you need to cut out cards that help you century uh, more of the other decks to win versus and momonosuke only search vano cards vano cards are pretty good as well yes they are but you don't uh, want them you want other cards that you can search off with bonnie that you helps off in your central matchups was i told you before then we having four uh, Apu. Apu is pretty good as a counter. I played him once time that my opponent can do a lot of counter potential that I can succeed more swing damage with him. So and then he need to counter one and then I can swing with the other done with my kit and unsuspend him. So pressuring out one done is pretty nice for some matchups. Um, but as a 2k count on your hand he's better. Um, Killer as a free off is a blocker. Um, Don one. Um, if you block, if you have three or more characters, throw one card. So you are benefit of drawing, and he has two K. So you can maybe counter him up if you want to, but you don't need necessarily need it because you only want to draw a card for him, and he's better than a one K a one K blocker. And we want to have more blocker in our decks, so that's the reason why I blame. We playing four of the riser. Riser is a pretty nice card. Three cost four drop. Uh, when attacking once per turn, if you have two or uh, more rested characters, you draw a card, what is pretty nice. So we have more card control, and he's a counter as well, like the killer. Um, then we play Izu, another 2k counter, but your on play effect is pretty broken as well. That uh, rest one of your opponent's character with a cost of four or less, what is pretty nice. So you can can tap Sentimaros or Alvidas or other stuff like that that um, punish you in the early game, and you're pretty cool about it. Then we play as well three Okikus. Okikus done one when you're taking once per turn, rest one of your opponent's character with a cost five or less. It's pretty nice, and you get rid of the uh, five cost um, queen um, from the purple deck. So you can swing with it and get rid and can rest him and then kill him with your used this kit. What is pretty nice, what I do something about it. And for other five cost or less targets, it's pretty nice as well. 
then we play our X Drake, one of the most broken sleeper cards you need to mention because on play, KO one of your opponent's rest character with a 4 cost or less, so you can clear out a lot of uh, noisy stuff like Nico Robin and stuff like that in the red mirror match, uh, red, red matchup, sorry, and um, what is pretty nice. And he has 6k and it's a counter as well, so it's pretty nice. We don't play a lot of um, less non character counters, but we want to have him in our deck. We play free um, Basil Hawkins, what is pretty nice for the mirror match. So this threat you want to straw sword, you want to get rid of because he can be really nasty if you don't have an answer for that or if you can counter him, counter him up and can live if you play and he plays war sword and you need a lot of defensive cards in your hand and counters to get him alive. We play two of the Draft Hugger Law from the new set, this is a blocker. On play you might return one character to your hand to play a character with three cost or less. So if you can play then the Izo to get part, to get something like that for next turn to draw, you can play Blocker, you can play Bonnie, you can play a lot of things in your deck to punish your opponent for that was pretty nice and it's a 6k blocker and we know all that Queen is a little bit of noisy sometimes and the blocker Trafalgar Law as well, so we have an answer play to that. The more lore I like is the lore that unsuspends things if you're playing from supernovas or hard pirates to swing and get more advantage. It was before with the x the old one, a pretty nice combo, but with the Basel Hawkings as well and other stuff um, to swing multiple times when attacking with the Okiki Sun, like doing both hair effect is pretty nice and stuff like that's like a little bit of a combo loop potential you have here. Then we're playing three times the useless Captain Kip blocker. Um, we need a big blocker for big threats because we have a lot of things coming around in the meta like that. So having a 7k, what is pretty good in the mirror match and other matchups, um, helps you in punishing 8k for something or boost him up. It's pretty nice as well and you can do it with the law, unsuspend him and he can swing easily for 10k for free. If you have 10 done, pay 5 and then you can do your stuff like you want to. Then. This card got an errata, if you don't know. Um, it says that you can't attack only use the skit captain and your captain uh, your leader is the same name. But it got errata that you only can attack this character, this is broken. Don one opponent's turn, if this character is rested, your opponent cannot activate uh, attack any character other than this. So he has 8k and you can attack with him, not the first turn. But Active, if you're playing for 8, you have an active main effect, you can rest this character to play one card with 3 cost or less from your hand. So you can play another card for pressuring your opponent and he's rested and then he needs to be beaten about 8k or higher. But is in the mirror match not so not so bad because you can put your all you've done to your useless captain kit and then swing 2 times and if you don't have enough counter, like what you should do. Um, but you block 2 attacks maybe once. But versus other decks, they have a lot of problems to deal with this card. That's because why this card is so broken. Then we having two swords rod, like I mentioned before. This card is pretty cool to get rid of something in the early game, mid game, or late game. Like suspending blockers, go for game finish, or something like that. What is pretty nice. And uh, the trigger effect is okay as well. But sometimes you don't want to activate it because you want it in your hand. Then we're playing two Paradise Waterfall, one of the most broken cards in your deck. Uh, counter um, one of your character leader gets plus 2000, set one um, character to active is pretty nice. And the trigger KO, one of your opponent's character with 4 costs or less is not so bad. It's pretty nice to do kill a rest of character like um, the Sentimaru or stuff like that or Sanji in the early game. What is pretty nice to have that you don't deal with it and can go a little bit brighter with your board and chill. And Punk Gibson saved me one game with the trigger effect rest one of your opponent's character. What is pretty nice. Encounter one of your leader or character gains plus 4000. Then rest one of your opponent's character with a 4 cost or less. It's pretty nice as well. This deck is pretty functional. It's pretty fun. It's one most of the tier 1 decks you have an eye on it. And thank you very much guys for watching. And this was your Senki from Digi Slots. I hope you liked the uh, One Piece videos. If you have something to mention about this deck list or changes, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it. And I wish you good luck and best of wishes to find the One Piece.